Okay, here we are at part four. In this part, we're going to take the valve covers off, and then um, after that, disconnect a couple of lines, uh, water lines, that are at the uh, rear of the lower manifold. Um, get those out of the way, and then we can pry the cover, pry the manifold right off, get it out of there. We'll take the push rods out then, and the old gaskets. We're there. If you're going to go after the front valve cover, this is 8 millimeter. Oh, these two top ones are nice and easy. I'm just using quarter drive on this. Now, the bottom ones are going to require some extra equipment. There it is. Okay, so we're going to remove this lower um, valve cover bolt here and it goes through the engine mount so you just kind of have to get on it by feel and I've got a quarter inch drive on here with a three inch extension so there it comes okay now I've got I've got a six inch extension this time Yeah, I'm trying to find it. <laughs> That's over here. Okay, I'm on it now. Okay, so we're just going to turn these out the rest of the way. It's one of those rarely seen spots where a thumb wheel actually is useful. Now the back cover is uh, pretty much impossible to show here. Suffice it to say you can get at them all by feel. This one on this corner is mounted right behind this stud right here for the, uh, the coil pack. It's right, right in the way. But the good part of it is, this is where you finally get to use that 5.5 millimeter negative. There's the problem piece. I see right here. It's right in the way. I think what I could do is get a vice grips on this section right here. Try to turn that off. I took the one on the other side out, so that's what it looks like. I rocked it instead of putting too much torque on it right away. So I've got a vice grip now showing with the other one on the barrel here. Down there and also on I've got my 5.5 millimeter on top, I'm trying to knock that thing loose. Okay, so we finally got it that way. And the head of this thing is a little stripped out, but you know it doesn't need a lot of torque anyway. And okay, now we've got the passenger and down here loose. It took uh, about 45 minutes to get that off of there. It's ridiculous. But way a job like this goes. Okay, so we have to remove this pipe from this housing, thermostat housing. There's a bolt under here, like a 13 millimeter under there that mounts this pipe onto a onto the uh, head. And then on this side, we're going to disconnect the upper radiator hose here, because we're not really going to do any work on the thermostat right now. So that's just a matter of the clamp, and we'll probably just heat that hose up and take it off. 
remove the clamp back and now we're just going to kind of break this free and make it even easier. I'm going to heat it up with a blow dryer. Came apart easy as can be with some heat. Okay, squeezing this bright with some vice grips. We're going to get this wire harness out of the way. So now we can do the bolt under there. Still scarcely visible. Okay, here. So we've got a, a universal in here. Got her busted loose, so we'll turn that off of there and get this. Okay, this didn't have to come out all the way. Only loosened. For some reason they only put a they didn't, they didn't put a hole on that one. So that one just has to come out a little ways. Okay, so the manifold itself, lower manifold held in by six ten millimeter bolts. One two, three, four, moving left, five is here, here's another one, six here, going over to the other side, seven, and down here, eight. Okay, we're going to work on this bolt first. This is a harder one to get at, and I always like to get the harder one first. So I've got a 10 inch um, box end on here. And this is like a 16 point. I'm going to use that in combination with a, um, a shorter 10 millimeter here. This is very little radius. Now that we've got this broken loose, I'll probably just go to a. I'm thinking I'm going to go to a. Yeah, there's just not much turning radius. Um, let's go to the other side and break off its counterpart on the other side next, though. Okay, now we're on the one on the opposite side, and I've got my 10 inch in there again. There, that one's broken. That one I actually turned the wrong way first, and it was rather loose, which does concern me. Now on this side, we can pretty much just use the this box end wrench over here. because I can get some rotation. The other side, that's not true. Okay, that's broken. Okay, now we're going to go after um, the two that are on the, kind of on the corners. Okay, and right now I'm just breaking them loose. I'm going to finish them off later. Now we're going to move over to the opposite corner, and that one is right here. And these don't have a lot of torque on them. They aren't breaking loose with any difficulty at all. Okay, now in the middle, there are four of them. There's one. And here's the second one in the middle. Now down here in front. Down there. And on the other side here in front. Okay, we're going to go to these two next. Okay, these are of differing lengths here, so um, you have to mark them. I'm going to just put it back in there because I'm going to devise a way to mark these for length. Oh, no, we can't. And unfortunately, I can't reach that one. I can shut it down. Okay. Okay, we went to a little bit of here. Let's see what kind of length we have on that. Yeah, that's long too. Alright, let's see if we can get this one. Okay, to finish this one off, I'm going to put a universal in there because there's just so little turning radius with a wrench. There isn't much here with this one either, but I'm trying to find a way to get this 
out, which isn't going to involve a sixteenth of an inch turn at a time. It's kind of tough. Similarly on this side. So it boils down to this, the four inside bolts, all the same, four outside bolts, all the same. Okay, so we've got a pry bar now. I'm going to use this corner here, put the other end down against the uh, front engine. There it comes. Okay, we've got everything removed. It's up. And out. Okay, the push rods have to come out because they thread through the gasket. So that's the next step. This is a 10 millimeter socket operation. And just have to undo these far enough to uh, get them out, lift them up. So for the push rods, I'm just using a box here. I've got a shoe box, and I'm just uh, pull this. Okay, so then put the rod in its place and proceed to take out the other eleven. And it's one side done. And over on this side, it's cracked right there. So there they all are. That's on the intake side. See the tear there. Also on top here. The gasket is separated. And on the uh, back rear bank, this gasket also has a tear in it. All right, it's time to remove the old. And these come out clean. It's not, not a lot of, of uh, material or much of any material to clean up. We'll go over this anyway and, and get it uh, pristine clean before we install the new gaskets. Okay, that completes part four. Looking ahead to part five, uh, we're going to be installing going into the installation phase. So we'll be getting uh, the, the new gaskets, push rods, manifold, and valve covers in place. Moving on.